Hey guys, this is Tim from dimdrive.com uh, with another video, really quick one, to show you about the real-time file synchronization that Dim Drive does. Now, one of the significant downfalls to traditional RAM drives are, um, and this is because the way a RAM drive works is it takes your computer's RAM and it creates a hard drive. Very simple. Dim Drive has a lot of things that it does in addition to that, and this is one of these things. Um, for a traditional RAM drive, when you turn off your computer, your computer no longer has power to it, and your RAM, which is random access memory, gets cleared. So a traditional RAM drive, when your computer turns off, or if it crashes, you lose all data on your RAM drive. So if you copied a game over, and you don't have that game on your hard drive anymore, that game's done, you have to reinstall. If you spent hours playing an RPG, and you save the game, and then you turn off your computer and you don't copy files off your RAM drive, you're gonna lose all that information, all that stuff, all those things that you did in that game. Or let's say you're playing um, whatever game and you modified some interface in the game, you spend hours configuring the look and feel of the game and your PC crashes, you lose it all. RAM drives, when your computer loses power, you lose all data, but not dim drive. Dim drive has a real-time file syncing. Um, what that means is when you use the dim drive program, it, it looks at the files that are on your dim drive and it, know, it knows when you've made a change to the data in one of the files and then it synchronizes that file with your hard drive. And so that's what this video is. It's just going to show you a quick little demonstration. And most of the times the files that you're going to sync are going to be like game uh, configuration menus, uh, save files for like an RPG game. Um, a game may have an update. Let's say you're playing the game and um, a patch happens and the game data updates. Dim Drive will synchronize the save game, your configurations, game data file updates, everything. And I'm going to show you guys how that works. And I'm going to actually show you guys it in real, real action in a, in a very easy way to understand. So what we're going to do, you notice here at Dim Drive, I have no Steam games enabled and I don't have any other programs enabled. Um, to get to do this as like a little test, we're gonna just create a little folder here on my desktop. It's gonna be called um, let's just call it file sync test. Okay, inside my file sync folder test, we are gonna create a couple files. Uh, let's see here. Let's bring this over here. We're gonna create two files. We're gonna create a text file. Let's call it. Um, uh, test of text file change and we're gonna create a um, let's create an image file um, uh, let's see it's not there we'll just type MS paint so here's MS paint we're gonna save as uh, desktop where is desktop file sync test image test okay so let me make this really small make this really easy for us so we have a image file and we have a text file let me drag the text file over here so we have these two files inside of a folder that we have on our desktop called file sync test now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add this uh, add this folder to dim drive and then we are going to have dim drive use this folder and then we are going to make changes to this file and we're going to see if dim drive truly in fact changes this file from the dim drive or sorry synchronizes the file in the dim drive with the actual file on the hard drive so let's uh let's do that so here's my folder here's this let's do a little before and after just to start it out so Let's put this right here. Let's say um, um, original text. Let's make the font really big so we can see this a little bit better. Original text, okay? Nothing, nothing too original, I guess. Um, we're gonna save it. And whoa, that's not what we wanted. We want to edit. Okay, we're gonna just make a nice a uh, square. So this is a square. We're going to put an O in the middle of it, which means original. So before dim drive ran, this is a square, okay? 
and this says original text. Now we've set up dim drive for this folder and you saw I dragged this folder and we're going to tell dim drive to turn on in the Y drive. Um, so, you know, of course it's instant. We're going to click this button right here, or this is going to run my test folder. So you'll notice that this is on my dim drive here. Let me uh, move this over here a little bit. All right. This is on my dim drive, my Y drive. See? So we're just going to move this to give us more room. And that's my Y drive right here. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this, um, which this should say original, right? So we're going to put the dim drive one on the right. And here's my actual hard drive one on the left. So this says original text. But what if I change this and say, what if I say changed by dim drive? Now I'm going to save this. We're going to just file save. But before we save this, Here's the, right on the left, this is, this is what the file is on my hard drive. These are the files on dim drive. So the, the hard drive says original text. We're going to save the dim drive text. So we just saved it. Now what's going to happen is dim drive is going to see that this has changed and it's going to update it. It's going to update the text file on the original hard drive. And so you can see that there's a swapping of, dry, of uh, files here, or a notification of files. And if we go back to the original hard drive file, we're going to open this now. I'll take a look at that. It says original text. Now, we never edited this file. We never edited it. We edited this file, right? So let's change this again. Let's say, yo, mammy. So again, the file on the left says this. The file on the right says, yo, mammy. So in here, let me just double, let me show you guys. So we're not going to save this. We're going to open this right here. This one's going to say "Yo, Mammy." Now I'm going to I'm going to save this and close it. So save, and then I'm going to close it. And you're going to notice the file sync up here. It just had a new entry. Test of text file changed, and that's you know what this is called. Now remember, we did not edit this. However, the drive on the right is dim drives. Um, dim drive version of the data on the left. So now imagine the, this drive on the right is a game, right? And imagine that this is a game configuration menu, or maybe this is a save game file. We've, we've resaved the game, so this save game file has changed. And let's say, let's say dim drive crashes, then this goes away. And what we're left with here is hopefully the new version of that file. We open it up, it says Yomami, which is the new version of that file. So let's do one more test here. We have a graphic file on the original hard drive. And again, if we go to, uh, if we look at where this file is at, this is on the desktop, see? Whereas this one here is on uh, dim drive. We can move this over and you can kind of see it's highlighted on dim drive. Um, so the text file, whoops, let me go back to the edit menu here. The, or sorry, the graphic file is a square with a circle. This is the original file on the actual normal hard drive. Now let's go to dim drive. Let's edit this. Let's pretend we're a game. And we, we've now killed a bunch of monsters and we've got a rectangle from this monster. We've got a square from this monster. And we've got a, um, how about an onk from this monster? Magical onk. Oh boy, that's pretty bad. That's one sad onk. So let's say we got that from a monster and now we want to save we want to save this uh, file. So save. Now imagine for a moment our game is crashed. Our PC is crashed. Everything is gone. Right? So to simulate the crash, we're just gonna turn dim drive off. So we're gonna you know let's just close dim drive too. We turn dim drive off, we've closed dim drive, and so what happens to our save game file? Well, let's go to our original game folder or for our test here, just the file sync test. And we're gonna open up that uh, file, which is a save game file essentially. And look, we ha now have the onk, we now have the triangle, we now have the little rectangle. So what that's shown is that's shown that dim drive, let's don't say this, dim drive has synchronized 
the files from the actual RAM drive to the actual hard drive without us having to do anything. And that is really important. As a gamer, you know what it means to lose data. You, you, you know what it means to spend all day patching a game only to have that game crash and then you're, you've lost six hours of time. Or you know what it means to be a, uh, a graphic designer and to work 10 hours on a Photoshop document and to lose it. I would, I would lose it if I lost it, if you know what I mean. So file syncing is so important. Um, and that's one of the key things behind Dim Drive that I've put a lot of time into, and I think you guys will love it. So hopefully this video will go and um, give you guys a, dem a demonstration of what exactly the real-time file synchronization is and how it can actually be useful to you when you're saving games or editing graphic files or doing whatever it is that you're doing. Now, um, some people will wonder, well, do I have to sync a file with Dim Drive? What, what if I'm doing something and I just I don't want to sync a file? I, I want to use a file on dim drive and then i don't i don't want to have that file exist on my hard drive when i'm when i'm rebooting my computer well it's really easy to do that you uh for example let's just turn this off you'll just um <clears throat> well let's turn this back on you can just use dim drive like a normal hard drive so we've got no steam games configured yeah let's actually turn this off we've got no steam games configured no no anything configured we have nothing so for this test Nothing's configured in Dim Drive. Um, we have the Y drive set up, so let's just start it. Let's start it without configuring any game at all. Let's start it without configuring any programs at all, anything. Well, there we go. We've got nothing configured, and we just click Open Drive, or just you know, just run Windows Explorer, or whatever. Um, let me just make this a little bit bigger here, and you notice that there's a Dim Drive. There's a Y drive. Um, what did we say? Five gigabytes in size. So five gigabytes in size. 4.99 or you know whatever that math is there and if you don't want to synchronize a the file then don't just you know create your own little new uh, uh, let's do contact card I don't even know what this is okay uh, whatever I fail at a contact card but whatever you know so this is a normal hard drive so when you're done with this drive just click off and you know what? That window went away. Everything that was on that RAM drive is gone. So you can have dim drive synchronize files if you want. You can have dim drive not synchronize files, or you can do both. You could set up, uh, again, you can set up the file sync test folder and you could um, start it. And so we now know from our tests, we now know that um, these files will sync between dim drive and the hard drive because we just tested that but at the same time if we just want to copy files on our own just create a new folder and go into that folder and do whatever you want and um, that folder will not sync but our files or our game or whatever we want will sync so hopefully you guys that is a really good demonstration and if you guys have any questions about the real-time file sync or you have any uh, suggestions for dim drive or you have any um, success stories or fail stories, I guess. Um, I want to hear all the feedback you guys have. So go to uh, dimdrive.com, click on forums, or just go to forums at dimdrive.com and leave all the feedback that you guys have, any questions or anything like that. Again, this program is brand new. It's going to have a crap ton of updates. I, I, I'm super excited to add all sorts of things to this. So all the feedback you guys can give, I would love it. Uh, thanks for watching this video, and there'll be more to come.